So last time we spoke, I talked about why you might want to make a plan for the day in advance of the day. I recommended to you that you do it the night before. Now, I don't know whether you've been doing that or not. But one of the things people often say to me when they first start making a plan for the day is that actually they find it quite frustrating. And typically people say things like, well, I made my plan and I went into work at 8.30 or 9 o'clock or whatever it was. And by about half past nine, I'd strayed away from the plan because somebody wanted something that wasn't in my plan. Or my boss asked me to go to a meeting that wasn't in my plan. And it's really frustrating because I got to the end of the day and all my good intentions had come to nothing. So what's the point in planning if I can't actually stick to the plan? It's a good question, isn't it? You see, there's a piece of the jigsaw missing there. And one of the things that you need to be aware of is that most of us don't have a whole day under our control. So take a moment and just have a think about this. In an average week or month, how much of your time do you spend doing things that you didn't know about until they happened? You know, that would be when somebody comes along and says, come to a meeting. Or they say, have you got two minutes? Can I just ask you about this? Or maybe they say, do you want to come for a cup of coffee? And that might be somebody that you need to build a relationship with. So you would go and have the coffee, even though you hadn't planned to do it. So for most of us, there are things that happen every working day that we didn't know about until they happened. So have a think back over the last week or month or whatever it is. Say, roughly what percentage of your time do you spend reacting and responding to other people's needs. Now, of course, if you do a customer service role, then it could be that you're spending 90, 95% of your time doing things for other people that you didn't know about until they happened. But of course, you did know that you would be spending a lot of your time doing things that would just crop up during the day. If you do a job that's more technical and kind of behind the scenes, then it may be that a lot of the time you are just doing what you plan to do. And maybe only 30% of your time is things that crop up as the day goes on. For some people, it's even less than that. But I've never found anybody who doesn't have some unexpected things happen from time to time. So have a think about that. And if you've got a, a figure in mind, just jot it down. So how much of your day do you spend doing things you didn't know about until they happened? Let's say it's 40%. Then, and be honest, think about... How much of your time just gets wasted? Now, that could be it gets wasted because you're waiting for somebody to show up to a meeting. It could be it gets wasted because you're waiting for somebody to call you back. It could be that you linger a little bit too long over a cup of coffee with somebody and you're chatting about things that really aren't of any great value to anybody. There could be lots of other reasons. Some people say travelling time is wasted time. Other people feel that it's not wasted time if they can do other things while they're travelling. So this is going to be your judgment of what is wasted time. But again, jot a figure down for that. Let's say it's 10%. Let's keep it easy. So if you've got 40% of your day doing stuff you didn't know about until today, and 10% of your day just gets wasted, that means you've only got half of your day to do things that you can plan in advance. Do you see where I'm going with this? So when you make your plan for the day, it's important that you only fill half of your day with things that you've decided you want to get done today. Because if you try and fill 100% of the day with things that you want to do, you're going to get frustrated. It isn't going to happen. Because we know, don't we, that a percentage of your time will get taken up with things that you haven't even dreamed of yet. So that's something else to take into account when you're planning your day. And bear in mind, there's a big difference between a to-do list and a plan. It's not enough to just say, these are the four things I want to get done today, or the 10 things, or the 15 things. What you need to do is decide when in the day is the best time for you to do them. So maybe there are some things that you want to do first thing in the morning. Maybe there's something you want to do at your most creative time of day. Maybe there's something you want to do just before you go into a meeting with somebody else, or just afterwards. So decide when in the day you're going to do each of those things but always leave plenty of space for the stuff you haven't even thought of yet. That way, you stand a good chance of having a plan you can actually complete, and you can then look back at your day and feel good about it before you plan the next day. <laughs>